Good evening, welcome to Ben TV. My name is Steve Pereira and we're on Queedia where we explore all things queer, everything media. Tonight we're continuing our discussion with Jennifer Granger on gender issues. Welcome back, Jennifer. So from a trans, from, from a gay lesbian perspective, yes. so we've moved from the heterosexual binary, yes. male and female, and in, for us as gay people, the notion of gender seems to be a lot more fluid and it has to be a lot more fluid yes. because so many of us are yes a process of transition from one to the other or live our constant lives in the middle between. What does this mean for us? Well, I think it, it is actually very freeing for you. I think that, you know, to bring to consciousness the fact that you can be anything you want to be. You can flow between your essences and you can actually be very balanced as a gay person. Because, and you actually could have the best of both worlds. So we're, there's no danger of us going overboard the way that Alana did or? Well, I think I have, I have a number of gay clients mm -hmm. and they are still in danger of going overboard. And I find, um, I, my observation has been gay men who tend to be um, good doers. So we have the female good doer mm -hmm. who has a heightened masculine and we can have a gay man in exactly the same position and his masculine can be so heightened and he's doing so much and he's exhausted. And his partner could be highly feminine and not really carrying enough of the burden. So what's your solution? How does it, I, I, I appreciate there's no easy mm. fix, but what, what's the first step on this path to? Well, I think the first, um, what I hope the book would do was bring to consciousness the flip side of ourselves. Even if you're a woman, that your flip side was your masculine. Is it in good balance? Is it not? If you're a gay person, you know, where, where, where are your energies sitting? I see the masculine and feminine as energy. And that's why it can be so fluid and it's, it's such a wonderful thing. It, it doesn't have to be, don't stereotype it, don't put it into some mm -hmm. rigid form, allow it to flow. And so as a gay person, you can say, well, where am I sitting? Where is the sitting? How can I flow better and how can I bring more balance to my life? And if, if you're highly masculine um, as, a, as a gay person and you're doing too much, whatever, take a breath sit down, contemplate more, be more in your feminine side, be more in your being side. Allow yourself to feel both energies. So it's about getting, fundamentally, it's about getting more in tune to, your, to, yourself. to yourself. Exactly. And how do you do that? Well, it is a, a question of consciousness. Mm. It's a question of saying, I am more than my flesh and blood. I am energy first. That is the whole premise of the book. The premise is that we are energy first. So you can, so what your physicality is, is really irrelevant, actually. It's like, who am I? Who am I as this person, Steve? Who right. am I? Take the step of going within. It's a big step. So that is actually a very empowering concept, very. especially for those who are questioning our gender identity. Very it is empowering. about very much listening to your body and your feelings. Yeah, and, and be with that. Which is, about, I have to say, when I first read the extracts for the book, I, I thought you were working the same old, binaries of male mm. and female, then we had a conversation before the show and I thought, no, that's not what you're about at all. Not at all. Not at all. Which was a big relief after <laughs> to say for me because I thought, <laughs> yes. this is going to be a difficult interview. <laughs> yes, but no, no, that worked out. Yes. And also you must remember that I wrote mm. the book, um, you know, the publishers, the first manuscript mm. of that book was highly spiritual. It was all about the energy of who we are as human beings. And my publisher said, oh no, we want a mainstream book. Right. So I had to rewrite it. So I had to rewrite it in the context of the mainstream of people. But I did put in the book, it makes no difference if you're you know, gay, straight or transgendered. It really doesn't, because it doesn't. As human beings, whether you're male or female, we are two energies. And it's how the balance and the mix of those two energies work within you and how they play out into the world is who you are in the world. So you can change that energetically. You can change who you are at the energy level. Absolutely. One of the, uh, we're, we're Running out of time, this has been fascinating. But one of the things I want to pick up on is in your book, you've got these archi ar archetypes, archetypes yes. which are, and has somebody who's been a strong advocate of Joseph Campbell and the th Thousand Faces, it, yes. this has been really interesting. The Andrew woman, the, do the good doer, the cougar, of course, yes. and the four <laughs> feminine gold digger. <laughs> 
<laughs> I want first. to know what the four feminine gold digger is. The four feminine woman is she's rampant at the moment. She wasn't. She's a bit like the pseudo masculine man. You know, they, those people have always been with her. I called her Delilah, actually, out of the biblical mm. context of Samson and Delilah, because remember, Delilah betrayed Samson for thirty pieces of silver to the Philistines, and uh, cut off his hair in the process, and cut off his hair and mm. got him to reveal his secrets of that's his strength. Right. And that's exactly what the five feminine woman will do. I always say to men, if you come across her, run, do not walk, because it, you know there's she is highly masculine in her orientation in that she's a predator. The masculine side of ourselves, the dark side of us, the masculine is pr predatory. And she predates on men, you know, she's looking for someone to look after her. No. She has no intention of working. No, she's got a masculine counterpart? She does, the, the pseudo-masculine man. He's actually highly feminine and yeah. he's, he's, a, he's fake, he's not real. He, Why is he fake? Because he pretends to be highly masculine, but in essence he's highly feminine. I want to meet him. How, how do you? No, he's not. He's not good. No. He's, he's, he's. Oh, I, I find him. You know, in terms of a woman, I find him to be the man who's a bit misogynistic. He, right. he actually doesn't like women much, but he, he appears straight, and he is very much in the in the hetero world. But he, I don't find him to be a good person. I don't find him to be honourable. Is a good word. And what's the masculine, ma masculine counterpart to the cougar? Well, he's the, he will be probably a highly feminine young man. So he's so just to give you an um, an indication of how that energy works in terms of attraction. So if we have two energies in mm. each person, the dominant pole. So if we have the young man who's highly feminine, the cougar who is highly masculine, it's a highly masculine to his highly feminine that forms the attraction. So in other words, we are human magnets. Opposites attract. Opposites energetically actually attract. That's, that's where the rubber meets the road with attraction. If you had one message to give out to people now, generally, gay, le lesbian, straight, yes. gender, yes. <coughs> towards a more fulfilled uh, presence, what would you tell people? Be courageous to go within and find out who you are. And the book actually asks you to do that. It, it's actually giving you the flip side of who you are. It's maybe the dark side, which is often uncomfortable. Be prepared to be uncomfortable for a short while, to be really in that space of comfort for the long haul. So take the long view that I'm going to be very uncomfortable looking at myself in the short term but it's going to give me a very rich life in the long term. Thank you. <laughs> We're to live by. And you've on, been on Queer with Steve Pereira and we've had with us Jennifer Granger with Feminine Lost, why most women are male, but equally why mo most men are women. Thank you very much for being with us. Stay tuned for our very own show on gender issues, our 13 part series transmission, which airs later on this, this season. Thank you very much. We'll be back shortly. Mm -hmm.